Welcome to this newest addition to Doorway to the Paintings. And uh, got a nice picture tonight, nice painting. Very nice painting tonight that I really like. It's about a knight who's trying to make it through the dark, creepy forest back to the castle. And the last... Uh, few episodes. Of course, a lot of my shows are kind of like uh, storybook uh, themed shows, but for the last few in particular, it's been like a storybook type uh, theme in these last few episodes. I really like this painting. I, it's one of my favorites. I like the way the knight looks, our hero, as he makes his way through the dark forest, hopefully back to the castle and uh, safe and sound. And uh, let's get ready and take a look at it. There he is, trying to make his way back to the castle. Here, I'll read this. It explains what's going on in a nutshell. In the dark woods, the night must make it back to the castle. You never know what could be out there in the forest. Is he walking through a cemetery that he has not discovered yet? Are there zombies? Are the dead walking the earth in this particular forest, in this particular area? Will there be something that come up from the ground? Will there be something behind the trees? Or maybe a werewolf. You never know. You never know what terrors can lurk behind these dark, dark trees and these shadows and these bushes. I really like the night. Really like this night. He doesn't look exactly real, but he's kind of real. But I really like the style. I like the shield. Kind of a triangular shape type shield, roundish in certain areas, but I really like it. The sword, kind of a short stabbing sword, so I suppose he could block with that shield and then come up underneath with his sword quickly. Yeah, he's a very, he's one of our heroes. I didn't name him, but he's one of the good guys trying to make his way back to the castle through these treacherous, dark, dark woods. Yeah, when I painted this, I thought of a whole bunch of things and um, a couple different movies that I had seen. I thought about The Evil Dead, the first one with Bruce Campbell, one of my favorite movies of all time. But these trees... Um, are darker than that though these trees are really black and really dark and then you got the fog in the background in the evil dead there were dark scenes but the trees were more brown and then you could see the leaves kind of the brown leaves on the ground the trees were kind of brown and orange but these are just black but that movie was in my mind when I painted this these little branches here and these little twigs kind of remind me of the evil dead a little bit more yeah I really like in my paintings you see as a common theme that I have dark trees and in the background there's a mist or a fog which really makes the contrast really beautiful and I like the shapes and the curves of the branches that I put in here. This almost looks like a hand, like coming like that, down. And your imagination could just run away with you with all these shapes and these shadows. There could be a werewolf. I've done some werewolf paintings with trees like this in the background. I probably had a, I think I made a couple episodes. I know I made at least one episode where I had uh, some trees and then there was another uh, 
episode that I did, or it was a video that I did with dark trees in the background, and then there was a werewolf. I think I did that to music. It might have been in that Halloween symphony that I made. I'm glad I chose blue as the color that I would write on. I think it matches the nighttime idea of this painting. And then, of course, it matches the knight's cape because they're both blue. And I like the detail of the helmet, too. And you can kind of see his, his eyes through there. I like the little spike on top of the helmet. And you have the little holes where he could breathe. I like the shape in general. I really like this color blue. Kind of a bright, nice blue. Not very good for camouflage, but that's not really his purpose. He's just a knight trying to make it back to the castle. He got caught after hours, probably searching for some creatures and the time got away from him. Yeah, I can imagine werewolves being in here, zombies, the living dead, or maybe Grendel from Beowulf, uh, the story Beowulf, a classic English poem, or a dragon. Knights and dragons go very, very well together got the mist and the fog. I just love it. That's why I put that in my paintings quite a bit. That sword has some good detail on it too. The, the hand guard here and then I like how it's shaped and I'm glad I didn't make it too long. It's more of a practical sword where he can, like I said before, he can block with his shield and then be very quick with his counter strike with this sword. He's got his armor. So Werewolf would probably have a little bit of a tough time getting through his defenses, but a strong werewolf could probably do it. But he's so skilled that let's hope the sword is silver. <laughs> could pierce the werewolf uh, pretty quick. Maybe take him out. Who knows? But yeah, there could be a variety of creatures. When I painted this, I imagined mostly like uh, zombies and maybe a werewolf or some phantoms that might be around the corner. I thought about uh, ghouls. Maybe a hungry giant could be in here. That would be cool. That would be cool. Well, he's definitely on our roster of heroes. Maybe he can go to the cannibal giant's castle and uh, have a confrontation one day. Maybe he'll be the hero in that story. You never know. I didn't plan it that way, but I might have even have painted these two paintings uh, close to the same time. This and that uh, cannibal giant painting that I did, which was the last episode I think that I did. Got the painting on the bed here, which is perfect for the show because it's a nighttime show, and that's the uh, the theme behind the show anyway. Regardless of when I film these, it's a nighttime theme. <laughs> right before you go to sleep, watch my videos, be inspired to dream, and hopefully they won't be nightmares. <laughs> Now, who knows what's in the depths over here. It might even be a swampy type area. Something might come out of this. Or maybe it leads to the underworld. Down to Hades. Down to another dimension. If he gets through here, if he goes through here and gets through the forest... Maybe he'll reach the castle. I'm sure he will, since he's the hero. But this stimulates my imagination quite a bit. Makes me think about various movies that I'd seen. Even Nightmare on Elm Street with the dark trees. 
when one of the characters would be in the dream and you would see dark shadows but but these trees are um, something that is kind of one of my uh, staples that I go back to I really like the dark trees and the fog how the mist surrounds the trees and the branches it's like a dream or a nightmare but it's it's almost like a dreamscape or a dream state and our character's making his way through to the castle eventually, hopefully, if the undead don't get him first. Uh, another inspiration I should mention behind this painting is uh, the old uh, video game uh, Ghosts and Goblins. And then I think Ghouls and Ghosts was the Super Nintendo version of it, but I think they made quite a few sequels. I didn't play them all, but I remember I really had fun playing Ghosts and Goblins when I was a kid. I think that's one of the inspirations behind this too, but I I had forgotten and just remembered now. I think I did this painting maybe five years ago, six years ago. I can't remember exactly when. Could have been sooner, could have been four years, but I never memorized the date that I that I did it. Something could be watching him. These trees could be part of a bigger forest, or maybe it would end and it would go into a swampy type area. But I kind of like to think it's a big, big forest with certain spots that are wet and damp. I never put rain in here, really. Maybe I should have. Rain is a nice touch in a lot of my paintings. I think that would have fit pretty well, maybe with a puddle in here with some raindrops. But I have that in so many other paintings. So many other paintings. This is one of my favorites. Even the trees alone without any else would be just a fine painting. I really really get inspired to dream with this kind of painting. An ogre, a big ogre would be good in a painting like this for him to fight. Big giant ogre. Maybe or maybe he's going to that charming castle where the cannibal giant is waiting. <laughs> Who knows? The imagination is stimulated, that's for sure. And this is inspirational. It can give birth to a lot of different types of uh, characters and stories or different ways you can make stories. It gives me ideas, really does. I hope you liked uh, looking at it with me. And the plan is to be back soon with another video. If you liked it, consider subscribing and hit the like button. And I'll be back soon. At least that's the plan. So have a good night, everybody. And pleasant dreams.